Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru Code Frenchy. Today, episode number 90. What we have for you guys on the menu. First of all, I'm going to talk about the general manager can use. Yes, Cole Caulfield. Finally, we have to talk about the structure of the Surrey Cap template where I believe it will be the perfect way for any team in NHL. And we have to give you some update about the Lenka Gretzky Cup for the final tonight. And of course, uh, at the end of the video, we're going to talk about the NHL news around the league. So don't go nowhere. But before we start, you know the drill. Please click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show, and below this video, please leave me a comment about the episode number 90. And let's dive in to talk about the first news of the day. Today, guys, I want to talk about Ken Hughes Advantage. A couple of articles talk about Ken Hughes, where the other general managers are really impressive so far of the Performance of Kim Yusen is a general manager of the Montreal Canadian. And one thing you said is be an NHL player agent. Sometime help the general to become a good general manager in NHL because you have some experience about the negotiation contract. You know the both sides of the game. And you know how you can negotiate with the player's agent, everything like that. And your name is really known around the league, and that gives them a great edge for Ken Hughes. One thing I like from Ken Hughes since he is a general manager is he stick on the plan. What are you talking about? It's not a matter who you are, media, fans, what he, he hear, it does not change. He's not get influenced by anybody. He's stuck at the plan. He know exactly what the Montreal need to do to become a better franchise in NHL. It's all about, first, the build, honestly, the completely the staff management, new assistant general, new assistant general manager. They add director scouting. They add more scout. They add video analytic people. They add assistant coaches, development players. You can see they hire a lot more people. Why? Because they really want to, they want to focus on the development of each player inside of this organization. So they give tools for the Montreal Canadian players. So for me, really impressed so far from the general manager can use. Let's move on, guys, for the next news of the day. The next news, guys, is about Cole Caulfield extension. It looked like they have some rumor around the league where the Caulfield extension could happen very soon. And, you know, he's going to be 22 years old in 2023. He's on the final entry-level contract for the upcoming year. He has 23 goals with 43 points and 6-7 game for his full year in NHL with a Montreal Canadian. What we talk about, coach, listen, it's not going to be UFA for the next four or five years. I don't see a bridge contract. Can he become the same way like Zuski? I'm not sure. The deal for me is going to, could be around five years contract. Four to five years. Can he extend to six? Yes. I don't see him to get an eight years contract. The best scenario for Montreal and for him, he get about six to $6.5 million. All depends the longevity of the contract because if he get shorter is gonna higher money if it get a little bit longer now the salary drop so the best scenario for me five years 6.5 i think that would be fair for both parties we'll see what happening about coca field extension let's dive in now for the next news of the day so the next news guys is about the montreal canadian fire mac dumont mark worked with the montreal canadian for a couple of years now he was the guy who's doing all the kind of interview for the Montreal during the different events. He was, of course, on the Discord for interviewing different players 
and the Montreal Canadian. And of course, he worked with the Laval Rocket. So I don't know exactly what happening. He did not mention exactly on the Twitter account. The only rumor we heard, he looked like he said something where the Montreal Canadian did not like it. And that's one reason why he got fired. I always said, always be careful on the social media when you talk or you leave a comment because when you leave a comment is going to be there forever. It's a, this is a bad news for Max Dumont. We wish the best for sure for him. Let's move on for the next news of the day. We don't have a lot of news uh, for the Montreal Canadian today. So I want to talk a little bit, a template of the structure of salary cap. If you are a general manager for me, if you want to reach the $82.5 million to be under the perfect template is this way. $21 million for the first line, $15 million for the second line, $10 million for the third line, $4 million for the fourth line. Then for the defenseman, it's going to be first pairing 13, the second pairing 8, the third pairing $3 million, and for the goaltender, $8 million. If you accumulate all those numbers, the total is at $82 million, where the the rule is 82.5 in NHL. This is the perfect template, and that will give good way for the general manager to have uh, stay under the salary cap. How did you do that, coach? But at $21 million, first line, guys, is about if you put your first two best players on the first line, they have to go about $16 million together. The third player there, $5 million. The second line, give them an average of $5 million. The third line is about $3 million. The fourth line is about $1.5 million. First pairing usually is 8 and 6 or 8 and 5, honestly. Second pairing, give them $4 million each. Third pairing, $1.5. Goaltender, $5 or $6 million for the number one and $1 to $2 million for the number two. And that's give you an idea of the salary cap structure template for any team in NHL. Let's move on for the next news of the day. Let's talk now about the Linka Gretzky Cup 2022. We have two semifinal games yesterday. First of all, Team Canada beat the Finland by a score of 4 to 1. And Team Sweden beat Shesha by a score of 6 to 2. And this is going to be the final between Canada and Sweden tonight. So we're going to give you all the information about this game tomorrow for the next video of the Abs Daily News. Let's finish this episode with the last news of the day. Here we go. Let's talk about the NHL news today. We have a couple of signatures around the league yesterday. Let's talk about the Nashville Predators signed Jakob Trenen, the 25 years old for the contract of two years at $1.7 million AAV with a $3.4 million total. Last season, he scored 17 goals with the Nashville at Predator. And finally, we have another news of the day. It's coming from Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, Sign the center, Kicken Kolsar, a three years contract at $1.4 million for a total of $4.2 million. He has seven goals, 17 assists for 24 points last season with the Golden Knight. This complete, guys, uh, all the news around the NHL news today. Here we go, guys. This is the end of the episode number 90 for the Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, your coach, Frenchie. But before we leave, we want to remind you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment below this video. And of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody.